What's up guys, welcome back to Static Works. Today's gonna be a good day because we're gonna be doing an actual install. We haven't done that in a while. And he's already here, so let's get started. Why does it say project? Because it's from Japan and it's a double den. There it is. Today, we're gonna be installing the stereo that we talked about two videos back. And it's gonna be a Boss audio system. They have Apple CarPlay and that's really all I wanted for the car. And we were gonna get the double din kit for the G35s because unfortunately, these don't come with the double din. And the only way to get one, an OEM one, is to get it from the Japanese model which did have the double din. Or get the Metro kit which is just a cheap plastic version. So I went along and paid $250 just for the real kit which is used also so that just goes to show you how expensive it is just to get a double dim for our cars so this is going to be how it looks right now but we're going to be replacing it with the double dim model the JDM Skyline model which honestly it just removes all this and cuts it out so we don't have to use a factory stereo and we're going to be able to place our new stereo in here you even know how to do this? I'm not an electrician so if we do fuck up we don't give a damn, really. We're doing it. For you guys. It's easier for us, for you guys. If we could do it, anyone could do it. Before you guys get started, make sure to remove the negative terminal of the battery just so there's no electrical problems. So I got everything that we need to get beforehand, which honestly, I just looked in the forums. Every car is gonna be different. So make sure to keep that in mind when you're looking for different parts. I got the Metro wiring kit, which pretty much connects to the actual um, electrical system of the car to the actual radio and I got the antenna adapter so obviously I can use um, radio and then for the Apple CarPlay I did get the Balkan USB cable any Balkan or any lightning cable can work so I just got this one just so it can connect to the Apple CarPlay Good luck here opening a present Except it's not for you huh? It's not for me. Makes you sad no. I got stuff coming in. Stick around for that. A couple little things you guys will like. Take this. Take that part off first. Oh my god, you're an animal. So now that we put it in neutral, which pretty much allows us to take it out, we did not know that. There is going to be some clips that we have to remove. Which I heard are pin in... Oh. I heard they're pin in the ass, but... Whoever said that is a goddamn liar. We're going to be removing these screws which are going to be able to take this off and then we can get started from the down from down up that was pretty easy yeah once we oh shit no clips broken i don't break clips i ain't break clips because i ain't static martin there's gonna be screws in there i can't even zoom in there but there's gonna be a screw on each side there is something inside here that's holding the actual bracket to remove this so we're gonna have to also remove this piece I feel like I'm ruining my interior so these clips right here that you're gonna have to take off and then it should actually come off from there that's scary all right the clips work pretty good actually um Looks like we just had to get our fingers in here and then pry it out. I don't recommend just taking it out first. Take all this apart and then actually pull it out with your finger, which is honestly gonna help a lot. It seems better to take this off on the side. Final screws to remove are gonna be under here. And I believe it should come off, which I kept saying that for like 20 minutes, but I think this time's, at least this time's right. What do you think? This time we're not lying. We never lie. So now we're just removing everything. There's also gonna be clips in the back. So I'd recommend pulling those out as well. Woo! We did it. This one's for TJ Hot. Garbage. Not garbage. 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 Your fucking beard hair is garbage. Just tell me. Your beard hair is garbage. What did you just say? Beard, hair, garbage. Yours. 
Make sure not to use any cutters. The wrong way. Like a little kid. Dad! Dad! Every double ding comes with a unique face plate that might need to be cut just to fit this um, double ding kit or many other cars. So what we had to do, we had to shave this one with the Dremel. We didn't really show you the process just because every system is gonna be different and every face plate is gonna be different. With our application, it is gonna be sunken in. I didn't really wanna do the work where it's gonna sit flush, but I do like the way it looks right now. Hopefully it's easier than it looks. But first off, we're gonna wire everything together. And before we even put anything back, we're gonna hook up the battery, turn it on, make sure all the speakers are working and connected, and if they're good, then I guess we're good because we did, Danny did get these extra camera input, camera power, aux input. I think that's just for like a backup camera. That's my yeah. guess. So you might not even need these camera power. Yeah, this you might not need. There might be some other things we might not use just because we don't need it, but looks like all we have to do is wire these to these. But we're still kind of confused on to what, where these are going to. Unless this replaces these three. But we're gonna have to see. Now we're gonna splice them together. We found a kit. So these are color coded. You can see green with the black stripe on it. Right here, kind of missed the metal part in here. And then green with green. They made these kind of long, so I'm just gonna pretty much, all I'm just gonna do is just cut it in half. Which is pretty simple, as long as you have the right tools. You put the two wires in together, and then you pinch them on each end to pretty much lock them into place. And then, if you want, you can use electrical tape just to make sure, but I believe we'll be good with just these things. It's all pretty much the same process. Pretty much you put it in here, you make sure it gets in there right, Crimping tool, pretty much find the metal piece, crimp it down, good squeeze, pull on it to make sure it actually grabbed and it grabbed pretty good so that part is good right here. Then you go to the other side you make sure it's the same green, solid green. Also twist the wire just so it's easier to put in here. You, Cause it's all pretty much the same but we'll skip through all this and then we'll make sure everything works and then we'll get back to you. So I wanted to let you guys know again that we really don't know what we're doing. We're learning as the video goes on. And this is why we do it. We do it for you guys so you guys can learn just like us. And if we mess up, we'll go back and show you guys what we did wrong. But we're literally going step by step on how we're going to do it. And I think it worked. work. Now we're just going to turn it on and see if it actually works, which is what we've been waiting for. So due to legal reasons, we can't play movies or watch anything without the parking brake on. So what we did to override that is just put it to ground. I hope this works, but we're gonna try it out once we have everything connected. This is how the process is going on right now. It's been about an hour and a half and we had to do a lot of cutting to the double den. It's been a mess. I believe with the metric kit, it's obviously for the USDM market. So it's gonna be a better fit. So this is how the stereo looks. I did have it hooked up here with both of them, so we had to drill a hole into here. But this is how it looks when we first turn it on. So it's finally done. I love the simple look. So now that I have the lightning cord, I'm gonna be able to connect my phone, which is what I've been waiting for. So this is how Apple CarPlay is going to look. This is pretty much going to be my screen while I'm driving. It does have Apple Music, so if I want to play some Xavier Wolf, it's going to play that. And then you can just pause it. Ooh. Just pause it. Text Martin Marquez. What do you want to say? You're a little bitch. Your message to Martin Marquez says, You're a little bitch. Ready to send it? Send it. Okay, I'll send it. 
So that's gonna be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was more of an install than a vlog just because we haven't done one in a while. The Double Den did have some work to be done. So if you're looking for a JDM one, make sure that it fits with your stereo. You're just gonna have to do work, let me just tell you that. And it's pretty expensive. It's 250 for the JDM Double Den, <clears throat> which is used. And I got it off eBay, so that was 250. The stereo was 300 and then getting the lightning cable and everything was probably like 20 each. So just keep that in mind. I'll leave all the things that I use down below, but this is pretty much for people who are gonna get it for their G35. And if you have a different car, obviously you'll probably just get the stereo and not anything else. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you guys on the next one.